Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can edit video using Adobe Photoshop. So, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop CS6. Now the video feature, I believe, was added to Photoshop in version CS5, um, but a lot of improvements have come about in Photoshop CS6 for the video, so it actually makes it um, a decent feature. So the way that we're going to get started with video in Photoshop is to just, I have an open a Explorer window here, and I'm just going to take and drag in one video clip, and you'll see that it takes and imports that into Photoshop. I can now minimize that. And then I can take this timeline, which it's conveniently opened up, and I can pin this basically to the bottom of my window. So now, um, essentially within Photoshop, we have an interface that looks a lot like um, Final Cut or Premiere or Movie Maker or iMovie or whatever video software you're used to working with because now we have a timeline down here at the bottom. You can see different clips and we can scrub through our video and do um, quite a bit um, like we would with um, any other video editing software. So in order to add in more clips, what we're going to do is take and add or click this little plus button right here and it's going to prompt us basically to look for some other files so I'm just going to search for this folder which is called PS video and currently it's set to 3ds max format so I'm just going to switch it to all formats now you can see all of the files I have here today so I'm just going to import this image here and the rest of these videos except for this one because I already have that one in there so I'm just going to hold control to deselect that one and click open so now it should import all of that stuff right here. And you can see that we have basically a still image that's really large. We have some other clips right here. All right, so there's quite a bit to show you. Um, there's a lot of different features, and um, so we're going to be going through most of those. So the first thing I wanted to show you is just kind of how to organize your document. Now we can add in audio, which I think I'm going to cover um, a little bit later. So um, right now we're just focusing on video. So you can see over in your layers panel, um, just like you would have in Photoshop, you have a group here. Um, this is a video group, so it's basically all the video that's on one specific track or one specific layer on your timeline. Now if you want to take and move something outside of that, like say this image, we can take and move that up, and you can see that now this is on its own layer. Now if we took and put something else out, um, like say one of these clips, we'll take and drag that out, you can see that now it, it has another layer added outside of there. So what you can also do is take and click on each of these individually and drag those down and then it will take and make a second video group. So if there's only one thing on a layer it's just a layer and if there's two things on it then it'll make it into a video group. So for right now I think I'm just going to um, leave the image as the only thing on that separate layer. So, um, the next thing that you can do is take and actually edit your video and Photoshop has a pretty nifty interface you can see. Let's Let's cut this clip down because there's quite a bit of stuff in this little shot from an airplane. And you can see that you basically just drag from the end like you would in any video program. And Photoshop has a nifty little um, preview window where you can see exactly where you're cutting to. Um, so I thought that that was pretty nice. So you can basically trim off of each end however you'd like. And it'll automatically clip it to there for you. So, um, one of the other things that you can do with Photoshop, I had mentioned that um, I think that you can basically use anything you can use in Photoshop in your video editing. And so what this means is you can see that my footage here, um, I've actually fixed this in a previous tutorial for Premiere. Uh, I showed how to do color correction. You can see it's really blue, and uh, I think I had the white balance off or something um, when I was actually recording some of this footage. So um, luckily we can just take and fix that within Photoshop here. Um, so I'm just going to take and add in an adjustment layer. So just like we normally would, click the half and half circle, we'll go to curves, and it's going to clip it to the clip that you put it on. So I want it to be on everything, so I want it to be outside of this video group. So now I can take the blue and maybe t turn down the blue a little bit so you can see that some of that blueness that was uh, messed up from the color correction gets we get rid of some of that, we'll maybe add in a little green, maybe add in a little red. Um, it's not perfect, you can spend time tweaking things, but you're trying to get the whites to mainly look white. But you can see that um, what we've done is basically added it over only one clip. So we have the before and after here of that clip. So you can see that we pretty much improved it. So really anything that you can do in Photoshop, you can do to your videos. So um, in order to get that to scale over the entire thing so that we can color correct all of our footage at once, you just scale that out like you would a normal video clip and now you have a curves layer on there that you can